welcome back to day two. Okay, um, I'm going to start off today by going through yesterday's answers. Okay, but before I do that, let's just recap um, what an angle is. Okay, so an angle is the amount of turning. Okay, two straight lines make an angle, um, and the two lines must meet at a point. Okay, so question number one, uh, put a tick in the box. Put, sorry, put a tick in the box to show an angle. Okay, so hopefully you got the four. Okay, number two, circle the angle on the right that is greater than the angle on the left. Okay, so that was this one. Uh, the second one, the angle that is greater than this one. Okay, what was this one? Okay, and then finally, arranging these in order, beginning with the smallest. Okay, so this was the smallest. Okay, this was the greatest. And then this one was in the middle. Okay, so hopefully you managed to identify those angles. Okay, um, and I'm sure some of you did have a go at the extra activity. Today we're going to be identifying um, some angles. Okay, so I'm going to start off by looking at three different shapes. Okay, so um, I've got a square, a triangle, and a hexagon. Okay, looking at these shapes, okay, I can identify the different angles. Okay, so on this square, this square has four angles. I'm just going to draw on that. Okay, because I can, by looking at my definition, okay, where two lines meet at a point, okay, is my angle. So I've got four angles here, okay. On the triangle, looking at my straight lines, where do they meet at a point? Okay, I've got one, two, three angles there, okay. And finally, look at my hexagon, my straight lines at every point, okay. I'm just going to draw on my angle, so three, four, five. Okay, so the square has four angles, three angles, and the hexagon has six angles. Okay, so I'm just going to leave those up there for us. What I have then done is taken some pictures, okay, of some different objects, okay, um, and just like we did with the 2D shapes, okay, I can identify the angles on daily objects that you see around okay um so here okay i've got um an orchid vase okay and once again it's a hexagon shape okay and i can identify the angles again so once again there are six angles okay i've got a light switch here so i've got my straight edges where do they meet okay i've then got my angles three four Okay, so square, once again, four angles here. Okay, on this picture, okay, there's quite a few angles that I could label. Okay, obviously I can see one here, okay, where I've got two straight lines. I've also got here where two straight lines are meeting. Okay, with the cabinet with the skirting board here. I've also got the drawer, okay, along with others that I could identify. If you carry on watching the video, I'm going to show you some more pictures of different objects. I'd like you to pause the video and see how many angles you can identify. now it's your turn so today for your task which you can find a copy of on the learning powerpoint okay i've set you three um questions to complete okay so question one um can you mark on just two angles on the pictures that i put here question number two i've given you three different shapes okay I, for this one i want you to look at the number of sides and the number of angles okay Whilst you're doing that, I want you to think, what do you notice? Can you spot a pattern? And we'll discuss that tomorrow in the answers. 
okay? Um, and then question number three is just an optional one if you'd like to have a go at, um, is for you to look for some angles in your home, okay? So you could um, possibly take some pictures to identify the angles, okay? And what different examples could, can you find? Good luck and I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to today's, today two was Fluent in Five. Today we went for the Tweedledum cap from Alice in Wonderland last year. Um, so again, you are going to have to choose whether to shoot a mental method or a written method. So we've got A, 700 times five, B, 320 divided by eight, C, 8,871, take away something is 7,631, and D, 238 times five, Again, there are two that I would probably choose to do a mental method and two a written method. Um, please pause the video, um, have a go and come back and check for answers. So let's now go through the answers together. So first one, 700 times five. Um, how did you decide to do this one at home? Personally, I would have done a mental uh, calculation because I know that seven times five is 35, 70 times five is 350, and because 700 is 10 times bigger than 70, I know my answer is going to be 10 times bigger. So the answer is 3,500. If you want to do a written method for that calculation, that's absolutely fine, um, as long as we are getting, getting our answer. B, again, another one I would have done mentally. So I would have used my knowledge of 32 divided by eight, which equals four, because 320 is simply 10 times bigger. My um, answer is going to be 10 times bigger, so my answer is 40. C, that one I would not tackle in my head, so I am going to do a written method for that one. Again, we've got a missing number calculation like we had yesterday, so we're going to have to re reorder it slightly. So I'm going to have 8,871 subtract, and I'm going to take away 7,631. So I've got one, one take away, another one is zero ones. Then I've got seven tens take away three tens is four tens. Eight ten, eight hundreds take away six hundreds is two hundreds. And eight thousand take away seven thousand is one thousand. So I know, oh, that's just me, I've got the right setting. That 8,871 subtract 1,240 is equal to 7,631. And then my final calculation, again, another one I would have done a written method for. I've got 238 times 5. So I've got 8 ones times 5 is 40 ones. So I'm going to regroup all of those 40 ones to 4 tens. I've got 3 tens times 5 is 15 tens. Add 4 is 19 tens. So I'm regrouping 10 of those for 100. And I've got 9 tens left. Then I've got 200 times 5 is Ten hundreds, add another one, is eleven hundreds. So I regroup ten of those for one thousand and I've got my one hundred remaining. So the product of two hundred thirty-eight and five is one thousand one hundred and ninety. Hope you had fun doing that today. Make sure you come back and have a great day three tomorrow.